Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So in this occasion I will present My business proposal First of all Let me introduce myself My name is Fatur Rahman As an owner of Satelokan Taraga So the first slide is Executive summary Satelokan is a traditional dish made from lokan which is known to the Minangkabo people, especially the people of coastal area. Satelokan are quite easy to find in the coastal area of West Sumatra like Padang City, Pariaman City, Padang Pariaman, and Pesisir Selatan and others. The next one is company information. Sate Lokan Taraga is a business engaged in culinary, especially Minangkabau culinary. The name Taraga itself is taken from Minang language which means rindu in Indonesian or mis in English. The word rindu or mis here is addressed to Minang people who move to Malang and feel homesick and miss the typical cuisine from Minangkabau which is very rarely found in other place beside the Minang region itself. My mission to building this business is to introduce a typical culinary from the Minangkabau area namely Satelokan which is rarely known by people outside the Minang area itself. Because of this is a traditional culinary business, it will cause of course some problems like limited raw materials differences in taste new flavor and change in customer's taste and differences in taste means food consumption habits of malang's people and minang peoples is absolutely different lokan sate become something new for them and of course that not everyone will match with the taste then new flavor this is a typical food from minang area perhaps not all people will be familiar with the taste and sensation of the food we pre provide because we don't use the meat from cow chicken but we use the meat from clam freshwater clam change in customer taste have an impact on the sales of our product and the next one is solution Based on the problems before, we make some observation and find some solution, such as consistently maintain the taste and quality of the food, maximizing the supply of raw material in the area where we open the business. The next one is deliverables. We will give our best for customer satisfaction. We will also conduct evaluation to improve the quality of our business product to be better for the future. Not only that, we will also innovate and continue to develop our business without changing the slightest authentic taste of the product we offer. Based on this reason, we carry out several steps as follow. We provide side menus apart from the main menu which is sate lokan such as sate padang, the usual sate padang and some drinks such as sate talua and iced tea and others. We will also provide additional toppings such as crackers, karupuak jange or skin crackers and chips and it's actually kazava chips. At offline outlets the payment methods we provide can be in the form of cash and cashless such as the use of the QRIS system for non-cash payment that facilitate the payment process for customers. And the last one, the third, we also provide e-forms to our customers to collect criticism and suggestion from them which is are used as evolution material of our business to improve the quality of our services in the future the next part is pricing the first one is variable cost as you can see here there are so many ingredients that we use in our business why we use so many ingredients in this product because we will give the best quality of our product because of this is a variable cost of course sometimes these material prices will 
be different and the next is fixed cost fixed cost is the cost that not will change easily so the next is the satellite prices so these are our menu like satellite with 10 sate and satellite with 8 sate karupu ajange kazava chips teh talua and iced tea if the selling achieves the targets our gross income in a month is 98 million rupiah and the total cost in one month is 93 million and 175,000 rupiah this is the method that I use to calculate the income in one month gross income in a month minus total cost in an in a month like 98 million rupiah minus 93 million 175,000 rupiah equals 5 million and eight eight rupiah so the next part is term and condition to improve the services of this business here are some terms and conditions that must be applied as follow the first one is the terms of payment for payment system our business can use cash or curies or cashless system for customers who dine in they can pay directly or pay after finishing their meal and for customers who want to take away the orders they can pay after the order is finished the second one is discount discount up discount of up to 30 percent only apply on the first seven days of outlet opening past these seven days the normal price will be charged for customers and the last one taste guarantee if the customer feels an abnormality in the taste of the product purchased then the customer can report to the seller and will be replaced with a new one this only applies to dine-in service CTA or call to action call to action is similar like promotion how to attract customer to buy our product in the first place and then how to get more customers so if you want to taste the sensation of eating satay that is new and different from other satay try satay lokan targa we offer a different sensation of each mouthful because our satay is made from freshwater mussels freshwater clam with an authentic minakabau taste visit our website for more information about satelokan taraga on www.satelokantaragamlg.com website and don't forget to visit our instagram at taraga lokan to get attractive promos and at our grand opening outlet which is located at jalan bunga kumis kucing kecamatan lowok waru kota malang jawa timur we provide a discount promo of 3% 30% at the grand opening which is valid for the first 7 days opening. You can also visit Go Food, Grab Food, Shopee Food at Sate Lokan Targa for only purchases and for online purchases and get some promos through this platform. Don't miss it. Sate Lokan Targa Kampuang these are our product samples like satelokan at the top and those two at the bottom are teh talua and karupu ajange teh talua is also drink that especially from minang and karupu ajange is skin crackers that you can find everywhere but in minang we call it karupu ajange i think that's all about my presentation Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.